You wanna fuck that dish in your mouth. Ja, hallo, hallo. Oké, okay, nou, je should be able to hear me, sorry. It's been a very, very long time since I've been riding on Zwift with a livestream. Uh, I won't be livestreaming too much, so I won't be talking too much today. Uh, because of the reason that I have some intervals, just a second.
a, uh, I'm doing my warm up now. Small sprint incoming. Uh, after there's longer time to talk a bit. Q and A. Ask me some questions. Q and A. Uh, small sprint coming up. Just activate the fast. been a nice time of Q&A sessions on YouTube. Now it's hot, so of course I don't ride that much on Zwift. Still I do some uh, Zwift work every now and then. As you probably can see on my Zwift account. Um, but of course longer sessions I'm doing our outside. Uh, maybe some riders asked why I'm not uploading everything on Strava. I took a small Strava break, but all my races I still put on there. Uh, I had some issues, issues with my power meter. And uh, when my power meter is working as it should. Uh, I upload it with my power also. So uh, I don't, don't think all riders do that. Putting everything on Strava like I did for a while. Power, heart rate. I'm sorry for the heart rate not being visible right now, but because of this test that I'm doing, I want to uh, do all these small intervals so I can see my heart rate rising. I can talk it through with the physiologic, oh, like the scientist. He wants like every minute average cadence, average heart rate. And I, sometimes it's difficult to connect to both the computer, and the Garmin at the same time. Maybe I'll see later on if I can do both. Should be possible. Uh, yeah, should actually be possible. Did a small mistake. For the beginner, focus on riding your bike easy, zone one. I would um, tell you. Uh, zone two is very demanding for the body. Is it Michael Jackson? Is it Michael Jackson? I think, so I cannot hear your the music you are listening to. This is Jeffke from home commenting. Jeffke not next to me because testing day. Uh, well, it's not really possible to do a double ride. That's also why the mic will be out a lot of times. I'm sorry already. I wanted to make like a message on screen to say, sorry, I can't talk right now. I'm doing a serious job. But maybe Tim Coppes, I was a bit too late. It's been a long time and it's quite technical, this streaming. Uh, I was a, was a bit too late to set this up, but maybe Tim Coppes, you can take it as your duty to tell the people, when I don't talk, I will talk after. Uh, at several moments, it will be 15 minutes without talking. 
But you have Michael Jackson in the background. Not too bad. biggest benefit of being a pro cyclist um, I would say you can pick your own agenda a lot of people dream about that but next to that you need to be very very uh, disciplined because if you are too lazy and you make your life too easy it will be uh, not so easy to get a new contract. <laughs> Jeff Ke, good luck. Hey, uh, next to that, I'll be. Um, doing a time trial training in this afternoon. It's been a while since I've done a time trial training, but Benelux Hood is coming up. I wanna be serious about this race. Uh, so let's see what we can make out of Benelux Hood. Ah, good luck for the Asper server. Is he aiming for a good result in the time trial or the overall? Or maybe it's both. Hey Tony, I do it myself. Self-made man. I try to do it myself so I can play around a bit with different concentrations stuff like that, always fun, so see I don't know I don't know, Tim. It's not as easy as I... Ah, here it is. Yeah. Yep, it's working, it's working. I don't know why it's not going that smooth anymore. Sometimes I have a bit of difficulties pairing with Swift. Uh, like pairing the controllable might take a minute before it's finding it, while it's straight away finding uh, my power in uh, cadence.
so about the world. Yeah, the parkour was quite on the limit. That's it. <laughs> something everybody saw, of course. Uh, of course, we wanted to win the race with the one and only Wout van Aert. He did what he, we, he could. We are very happy about him. And well, Mathieu van der Poel was just flying. Was he better? Yes. Was he honest? Yes. He even crashed. Uh, so we were satisfied with second place. That was the best we were making, could make out of it. Uh, it's better like this, you know, if you become second because of a crash or a mechanical, um, this was man to man. Wout wasn't disappointed. Eh, he wanted to win, but he knew he'd do what he could. He did what he could. And Mathieu was better. So my, I'm about to start serious riding. It's not hard. I will have to push. That's for sure. Um, but we want to stay in the zone where uh, there's a good balance between your aerobic capacity and your glycolis what people might say is your anaerobic capacity. Anaerobic sounds like if you're holding your breath, there's no such thing. There's no such thing as different energy systems. It's one system and it's three different cylinders, like what we could say in this system that works simultaneously. Uh, like not totally the one system the creative system uh, it's only working for three seconds and then it's the two other systems the glycolis and the aerobic uh, capacity your aerobic engine that working simultaneously even at 100 watts you're burning carbs with your glycolis uh, People might say that's anaerobic burning of sugars. You can't burn sugars purely aerobic. Bye bye. See you later.
Okay, so now in two minutes time, I'll start my interval. Team Coppers, it's up to you to inform the guys. Eh? So my sound will be off for about 10 minutes. Now I go very, very slow because I want to slow down my aerobic system that it's not a too big part of the interval. Um, catched up by my aerobic system. It's not too hard, but if I talk, I won't find a good rhythm. So you can see the countdown on the screen left. I'm a little bit in front, but it are the intervals. It's an eight minute interval. I add some seconds because it takes always a time for the tax to match the power that I want. Ciao.
So, this was my first interval, uh, not too great, um, I was a bit, so I want to be in a, a zone that there's a very good balance between my glycolysis and my aerobic system. Um, and we aim for this like 
over 2.5 millimol, under 5.5. Um, I was 1.9 this point, which is too slow. Uh, it's a bit this long effort, or somewhat longer, it's only 8 minutes. Um, will take a lot of my carbs, so might influence the next intervals. But we have four intervals uh, to create a curve. So actually one is uh, is extra, it's like a control point. Um, but of course we want the, the long and the short interval we want to have. So we have outer boundaries for the curve. Um, it's not completely invalid. It's just more correct when I would have pushed a little bit harder. Uh, but now I'll increase a little bit the pace on my four, two and one minute. So those stay in the curve. Uh, it's always better that you ride a certain power with way lower lactate values than you would expect it than the opposite way. Um, so like Tim said, I'll always be answering questions in this easy recovery uh, part. And uh, in the intervals, you won't have any comment from me. But drop some questions if you like. Hey, Steve, performance coach, maybe. We'll see uh, if that's something for me, because in cycling, being a performance coach involves more than just the performance. You also need to convince people that you're there to help them and not, uh, that's actually more important that you convince people that you are telling the truth than just having good scientific scientific background and I don't like that part too much I like more to focus on the gains and not too much on yelling louder than somebody else hey Kobe the Vaart van Leuven is now quite far away from me um, I did it last year this time of the year because I did a recon of Tour of Leuven. I'll do Tour of Leuven the 15th, it's quite soon. So you can spot me on Tour of Leuven. My longest ride on the rollers is six hours with two five minute P stops. calorie cutting or increasing hours on the bike um, that's actually the same thing if I understand you well you just want to increase hours on the bike to burn more calories and eat the same so you're both in both scenarios cutting the calories both uh, are things that you certainly don't want to do always keep the metabolism high if you want to burn you need to have a relaxed body you have to sleep a lot you don't sleep your body is too stressed to burn fat and it will burn uh, carbs it's quite complicated quite scientific to explain but if you want to burn fat 
It's on a flame of carbs. You can't only burn fats. Uh, so you have to have carbs to burn fats during exercise. If you want to go to a ketogenic diet, will you get skinny? Probably. Will you blow it up when you get carbs? Probably. Uh, okay. My girlfriend is going to take some blood. See if I'm ready for the next interval.
Okay. Second block done. Spot on what we wanted. I not spot spot on, but very close. 3.6 millimol for 390 watts. Um, if you wanted to do exactly uh, it would be 4.0. But 3.6 is perfect. Uh, should be very good for simulation. Um, maybe I up the watts just a little bit to 440 for two minutes. Uh, but we'll see. Sorry for the lot of. I think there's a lot of wind in the microphone correct me if I'm wrong but it's uh, a lot hotter than what I'm used to on the indoor trainer and if I'm too hot my uh, core temperature will increase and it will have a big influence on the results uh, and makes it more t more difficult to do a good simulation becoming a pro is hard work not so much more to say about that now i have heaps of videos on youtube uh, Lockdown gave me a lot of time to make videos. Uh, now it's quite busy. Do I have free time? I have heaps of free time. But if you do the Tour de France, physically uh, and mentally, you're quite drained afterwards and you need some time just for physical and mental recovery. If I would be full on making YouTube videos now, this would maybe cost me results in upcoming races. Or I might need more recovery after the season than what's planned. Not so great. My max heart rate is about 205. But Tour de France is about three weeks over now with some immense impact on your body um, it's quite easy like if I sit on 400 watts now of course the body is working but you know mentally and also neuromotorically your muscles are very used to suffer hard for a long time uh, and that's a big big gain after the Grand Tour but you feel very tired for longer than the Grand Tour took uh, so my maximum heart rate at the moment will be about 190 probably um, and it will take me a while to reach that. Uh, I'll have to push hard for 10 minutes to see that my max heart rate. 
just because of the fatigue. Let's feel in the body. If I'm very fresh, uh, let's say November, December, I can reach my max heart rate in a one minute effort. Hey, same questions, good qu uh, question. Did Remco take advice from me? We talk a lot and we like to talk a lot about scientific things. We have a good connection. We are not best friends, but we talk a lot. But Remco has a good team around him. We like to share thoughts, but I'm not at all his coach, not at all his core coach, not at all uh, his social media coach. Um, did he copy my YouTube channel? Of course he did, but he won't tell you. The one the end. Yeah, 220 minus your uh, age would mean everybody has the same heart rate maximum. Um, it's quite easy to say that uh, that's not the real scientific approach or a real uh, deep going answer but for sure with age most people's heart rate goes down a lot of endurance work makes most people heart rate go down it's not rare for a cyclist to have a max heart rate of 160 not rare at all uh, even young riders might have this kind of max heart rate as you see my heart rate probably compared to um, most of you watching it's quite low but for the professional athlete there's, there's nothing else to do in life than cycling my heart rate is not low at all um, when you see me sitting at 330 watts I'm somewhere between 150 160 uh, when I'm fresh it might be way over that so I have a really high heart rate at medial paces but that actually doesn't say anything about being a good or a bad rider I've, I know riders with a max heart rate of 170 that are very 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 good in 30 second sprints and I know riders with a max heart rate of 210 that are very good in 30 second sprints uh, you might say the more explosive riders in general have higher max heart rate but not at all it's a good thing way to compare um, certain things it's very variable also for you personal when you sleep good when you sleep bad when you're a bit ill when you're still a bit fatigued of last day's training you're still a bit fatigued of a big block of training you did two weeks ago if you're excited if it's cold if it's hot a lot of parameters to take into account my max heart rate is outside because I can push harder on a hill out of the saddle and it's quite difficult to do that on the rollers if you're fresh you need to be fresh to have a very high heart rate and if you're very fresh a two minute interval is the best to reach the highest heart rate the highest vo2 max the highest lactate values maybe just a little bit too long even um, indoors you might heat up if you heat up body wants to cool down send a lot of blood around especially close to the skin 
to get some plasma evaporating, sweating like we call it. Uh, this makes your heart pump harder. Combining that with a hard effort, uh, your heart rate might go high. Even Frederik Frison has resting heart rates under 30. Um, he's a very good rider, but he didn't win the Tour de France. So again, uh, resting heart rate, max heart rate, doesn't say a lot about um, your quality as a rider. Uh, it's very genetically, uh, if you have a high, heart rate or a low heart rate um, does it make a difference where you measure the heart rate inside outside uphill flat if you're motivated that's the most important you need to be very motivated to reach high heart rates
music will come back soon. Strike for the lyrics like I'm bowling, bowling Pushing on, keep rolling, rolling I know when they listen but I told him, told him One more time, your favorite MC's bronze or silver These raps here are golden, golden Cards on the table, there's no folders Spit bars at the club, zoning, zoning TikTok comes along, they get ripped off Man get pissed off when I start lift off Sweet like flame is cookie and biscuit Bounty, yeah, the bars I get ripped off Picked up my song, yo, every time I tripped off Little petty children, they're big rock Me and my G's do red repping, mix up Full circle, not everybody linked up That's irrelevant, maybe like an elephant Keep your heart beating low that it's elegant Get mad but always benevolent Always moving up, just leveling Constantly telling and rhyming, bridging Cycle through these streets, I'm pedaling Hibernating and boom, she's back again Oh, cause a little fire on the track again Turn the music up, vibe like an icon Icon, icon, yeah, if you want pop We can go psycho, psycho, psycho Head to head, bar to bar, turn the mic on Mic on, mic on Turn the music up, vibe like an icon Icon, icon Oké, okay, another good result. Uh, 5.3 minimal voor 40 watts. Waar is mijn hematic weer dat? Dat. There are no stupid questions, but I can get a hematic weed of 55 if I jump in the sauna for 3 times 15 minutes. I can get my hematic weed to 40 if I 
load myself with OS. Him at the creed is a value uh, that once they thought was a good thing to get rid of EPO, but is just a value uh, that is based on percentage. And all we want to look at is the total mass of red blood cells, which is expensive and difficult to measure, but hematocrit is very, very depending on your state of hydration. Uh, before Worlds, I was in Malaga. I did a seven hour ride. I think uh, I ran out of drinks. It was about 40 degrees. I think if I did a blood test at the end of the ride, my hematocrit would have been over 60. Um, over 60. You hear me right. But in I was not able to produce somewhat close to 300 watts. Uh, I was totally dehydrated, totally dehydrated. Uh, I finished the ride and I think in the first minute after my ride, I had already two liters of water. Uh, and uh, in the 10 minutes after, I added another uh, three liters of water to that because I was so dehydrated um, and this would have a massive influence on your hematocrit. The test protocol is a uh, ah, it's somewhat rear just a second. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I want to do different lengths of intervals in a where I find a good balance between my glycolis and my aerobic system. You might understand it better when I say anaerobic and aerobic system. There's no such thing as anaerobic but always uh, partly uh, using your aerobic system your Krebs cyclus and your anaerobic system uh, your glycolis um, now we want to be starting every interval about rested um, if I would go in an interval riding 250 watts starting my interval I would end up with lower lactate values because my uh, Krebs cyclus is running on full power so from the moment I start breaking down extra carbs glycolysis uh, the aerobic system is capable of straight away burning the lactate, it's not really lactate, purivate, it's actually the same thing. Easy said, the prep uh, cyclus is capable of burning that lactate from second one. We don't want that, we want to start rested and uh, give the aerobic system time to start up. This will take about 50 seconds and because of that, if you have different lengths of, uh, of efforts at a medium pace, you know, like now, I'll do a one minute effort. And if I have an extremely high lactate after a one minute effort at a medium pace, we know I have a very strong glycolysis or anaerobic system which might be very good for a training block and not that good for a classic race. 
but we want it somewhere in between for the races that I have coming up now. Uh, because a one minute effort, only the last seconds, uh, the crab cyclus will be on full power. If it's eight minutes, for uh, about seven minutes, the crab cyclus is on full power and it can like eat away the lactate and like this we calculate the VO2 max and the VLA max. VO2 max like a value that tells you something about your Krebs cyclus. VLA max a value that tells you a lot about your glycolysis. Um, a strange thing what most people don't understand is um, your engine has two main parts and then a third non-important part for the endurance sports but these two main parts just to say it easy it's your aerobic system and your anaerobic system and to be very powerful you want to tune them both to the highest possible level gives you gives you the greatest potential of a very good uh, effort but like I said it's a potential if you want to reach uh, the best performance in a very long endurance event like Tour de France, Tour de Flanders, Ironman 70.3 uh, events we actually want to destroy the anaerobic system uh, because we want to trigger the aerobic system with the anaerobic system to make it work hard in training and to give a boost to your VO2 max your aerobic system and this will uh, that VO2 max will decide partly your uh, effort or your result but if you combine that with a too high VLA max, too much of that VO2 max is working uh, to break down the lactate produced, which is not good for a long effort, but very good for shorter efforts that we see in athletics and swimming. Uh, but in cycling is different. Actually, we are a lot less complete except for track riding of course individual pursuit you have to have both very high vo2 and very high vla max um, but we are less complete athletes because we actually only use one part of the engine uh, to the max and we don't want to use the other part we don't want to use the turbo uh, of our car because let's say the engine might heat up too much and it will not be beneficial for the final of the race because if the turbo is tuned to the max it will always be there and if you have a start of the race with a small hill you'll use the tur turbo you'll produce that lactate you'll heat up the engine and your motor is working to cool down and to break down that lactate and it might make you suffer. I know that's quite technical. So basically we want to have high anaerobic capacity during training times. We want to have low or no anaerobic capacity in race time. And also, if you do a lot of long effort, or if you do the Tour de France, you break down that anaerobic engine so easily, because your body just knows, I don't want these heaps of lactate in the beginning of a mountain stage. I just don't want that. So uh, stop producing it. And like this, you see riders lose explosivity 
doing a grand tour. Uh, um, yeah, of course, it's a bit adapted. What I do, my activation session, uh, it's quite much adapted because I broke my back. So it's mainly focused on working on those muscles. I have lots of races, I have lots of training sessions. Uh, the core stability I do is all focused on uh, getting the back as stable as possible because the back is, was broken and my vertebral is collapsed and it won't take its original shape back. So I will suffer with this for the rest of my life. Uh, but actually, being on the bike, I won't say it's good for my vertebral, but it became, it's not an issue because it's collapsed in a way that it's more easy to bend over and more difficult to stand up. Uh, so it won't affect too much my bike riding. It might affect uh, my wrist a little bit, but for sure not too much. Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to ride like I did in the Tour de France. So a bit more testing. Um, So the higher I go with my lactate values, the harder my VO2 max has to work to get back to baseline. But it's yes, the higher I go, it also it's harder and longer work. That's why I take longer recovery now after the last interval, which was a perfectly paced interval with 5.3 lactate, uh, very good, but want to get back to my baseline. So about one minute from now, we'll check if I'm back on that baseline. Here. Ah, Jeffke. Jeffke joined me on the right. Is Jeffke online? Yeah, or yes or no? Hey Ted, I'm very happy I only broke one vertebral. Uh, but there are riders that broke several vertebrals. Uh, like Edward Turns. He had them fixed for a long time. Uh, like fix, fixed with screws and everything. And still performing high in racing. So it's actually a fracture that happens often with old people when you uh, when the bones break easily um, so it's not a rare thing but you better don't have it it's more easy to break a collarbone or it's painful very painful but it heals better
So last interval is coming up. It's one minute 500 watts. You'll see it's like one minute four seconds because the trainer needs some time to catch up with the watts. Uh, the trainer, like the PAX machine. Um, again, aiming for like about four to five millimoles of lactate. Nothing too crazy. Harder session in the afternoon. This is just to test where I'm at. In the afternoon, I want to increase both my VLI and my VO2 max. Focus on VO2. Uh, but now, one more interval coming up. See you later. Enough of the code switching, been hitting my soul, been on the ropes, I'm ready to grow, so get to know niggas. Keep your head up, I want you to grow with me. See this gold on me, want you to glow with me. Yeah, alright, okay, okay. We get it. No contest. Wait. See this gold on me, Serve, sir, want nigga. you to glow with me. The world been dying, days is number, check the climate, I'm sick of it. Fuck the head brain scheme to get the riches quick. Played a long game with a serene scene and I whipped this quick. From the back room to the hearts, I'm in the thick of it. I grind too hard for y'all not to see me a star, bitch. I'm raising a bar like they really pay me to talk my life in a shambles. But I got handles, I'm finishing at the rim. I remind you time and again and again that I'm really him. Oh, you ain't up. No? This shit not just for the show, but bet you entertain. Anybody not for me is below me. Blow me, you in the way. I live my dreams, I got it locked, the master keeping on me. Back in the field, running audibles with the team. Everything I got out the mud and told my truth. I shake that fake shit, they praise you, then minimize you behind you. Just know I notice you. Stay woke, no joke, it really be the ones you closest to. Had to stop sleeping on myself like I ain't know the truth. Oh, this to me like it's really nobody code is this. And if you disagree, then you jaws and your claim get audited. Who you know do the beat and the talking and write the harmonies. I'm really convinced there's nobody out here going hard as me. Wish well the dog that claimed belief in me so he could use me. Look at me now, you chose your route, I know you sick to see it. You talk a lot, all that flop, but that shit not harming us. Capping your status, we back, ain't nobody raw as us. To the ones that held me down for the count, look at what growth will do. 
I'm the kid from the code that's feeling double sex when Luke they pay to play my shit back. In a way, I'm going back until I'm fossil fuel to the flame, just like I'm supposed to do. Enough of the code switching, been hitting my soul, been on the ropes, I'm ready to grow. So get to know niggas, keep your head up, I want you to grow with me. See this gold on me, want you to glow with me. Been hitting my soul, been on the ropes, I'm ready to grow. So get to know niggas, keep your head up, I want you to grow with me. See this gold on me. I've been on a job, trying to take it far. I need that ROI. Shit, I didn't pay the cost. I'm all in on me. Lil' baby, she agrees. She really been here through the fall. She the only thing I need. I want to be free. I know that they want me for my ideas so they can line their pockets. Don't hit me to tell me that you give a fuck about me. You don't even know nothing about me. Trying to force me on your timeline. You know you need to stop it. I live for more than attention. It might not be your trending topic. Put my worth in analytics. I admit that took a toll. I got addicted to scrolling. We know well that that get toxic. I got caught comparing me to people I don't even know. They say it's lonely at the top. Well, maybe then I'll focus on things that's more important. And let whoever think whatever and just keep it moving. These niggas won't work on themselves. They'd rather see you losing. You'll never see me losing. Enough of the cold switching. Been hitting my soul. Been on the ropes. I'm ready to grow. So get to know niggas. Keep your head up. I want you to grow with me. See this gold on me.
so there's an, a great delay on uh, a great delay on YouTube. I'm sorry for that. Uh, that's about it. It's only 10 minutes left in the training. Uh, Nell did a very good job. It's the first time she helped me with this kind of test. And it's very helpful that she seems to be also very good at it. Um, looking forward for the test results. I just had a call with my coach and he says it's not really a problem that uh, the first one was not hard enough. Uh, it's also difficult if you do it a second time now. We will have a <laughs> so if you do it a second time now, I, you will have an influence because your your uh, glycosin storages are lower. Uh, so it should be an okay test to simulate. Uh, it is true that I often make a joke that I charge money for selfies, but I don't ask money for selfies. But if people would give me money for selfies, I won't refuse it. And I might laugh harder on the photo. Tim Coppers is also on the, on the right. That's how you see that there's a delay. I don't know if the delay is greater than normal. I would estimate it about 30 seconds is a regular delay we have uh, on YouTube. And Zwift is very uh, real time. You can really see that if you have somebody next to you Zwifting also. Not too much volume. Want to get rested uh, between races, and sometimes, like today, I have small five hours in total uh, on the day, which is something, but it's not uh, too terrible. Tomorrow I have a small three hours. Day after one hour. Day after race. Day after one hour. Uh, that's about it. Get all the seats, So prelims, so prelims, so prelims, so prelims, and prelims are sober. My run through the money, the pressure be calling. Left on my blessings. All right, about 10 more minutes. And I'll have a bit of recovery. I have a small lunch. And then I go outside for the time trial training. It's been a long time since I did a TT training. Uh, but need to get ready for the big shoot.
I barely could trust it. I talk to a shorty, she bagging the bugging. And I'ma need all of my dollars on corporate, so hand me the money, I divvy the pie. I'ma give all of my people a portion to build them a fortune on flipping the ride. I can't be mixy when iffy the vibe. And 40 on 50 is really the time. Why is you all on my phone like you want me? Like you wasn't pushing the kids to the side. I don't know if you thinking I'm blind. Cross on my crosses and dot on my eyes. Done with your efforts, I'm dealing with pressures. I know it's a lesson, that's worth it the wise. Dubbing the mixes, I'm mixing. I know I've been missing. I needed some personal time. Fuck all the pictures, dimensions. I don't with your digits. I mean it, I'm staying inside. Cause they got problems on problems on problems on problems on problems on problems. I solve them. I run through the money. The pressure be calling left on my blessings i feel like i'm falling the birdie is back tell me i'm garbage i'm going through something that's why i ain't calling phone and progression is all that i wanted the phone and affection i summon and double because check out problems on problems on problems on problems on problems on problems i solve them i run through the money the your advice my advice toward a tell me i'm time troll queen quite easy right a lot on the time troll bike but i would not at all advice to ride uh, a lot of time trial pace but a lot in the time trial position um, the most important is like we've talked about a lot more early in this uh, live session most important thing is that you have high capacities a high vo2 max at certain moments, a high VLA max, and you really don't achieve that with a lot of specific, what people would say, specific time trial training. You don't want to ride too much on your time trial pace because it's quite difficult to find a good reference, but. You know, you want to save those race efforts for the race. You want to be at the best level to achieve the highest possible in the race. Maybe it's, if you know, like just boxing, those athletes, they have a number of fights that they can perform. If a box, boxing athlete fights too much, it's over uh, they have a number of fights in their body and I would say it's the same in every single sport not as much like with boxing boxing you might just go crazy if you get knocked too much on your head but uh, rarely you see a rider doing his best grand tour his 20th grand tour you know those things they take a lot of your out of your body they do make you stronger but not it doesn't accumulate there's a limit of course this limit is also is also depending on your talent how much can you take uh, but even the biggest engines have their limit and uh, yeah, be realistic with yourself if you're not the biggest engine that's not a problem it's just it is what it is yeah to run a marathon nobody runs at marathon pace and also nobody runs or you might get close to marathon distance but very rarely a marathon runner will run a marathon distance in one training session they might do it in a double session or a triple session over the day but it's rare i would say marathon runners i know like Hunard, they don't run marathon distance in one training Good. 
uh, also with Pojakar. Uh, you know, we might look at it like he's over the top or he used to be better, but think that Vingegaard is not there. Think about today's time trial in the Tour without being Vingegaard being there. He would be, we would think he's crazy strong, he's out of reach of other athletes, but then uh, you have Vingegaard being on another level and we look at that day in another way. We say he's super strong, extremely strong, but he's not as good as he used to be or things like that. Uh, that's strange in cycling. Well, it's my FTP. That's such a strange thing, a strange value to talk about. FTP. What actually is FTP? Uh, for sure, it doesn't tell you mu much about uh, your potential as a rider. It tells you much about how ready you are for a race and how much of your VO2 you are using when you're riding at FTP. Um, I have a high v FTP at the moment because I have done the Tour de France, which makes me very efficient. But my VO2 is not that high at the moment because I missed out on a lot of proper easy rides and polarized training. But my v FTP is probably at 90%, 90% of my VO2 max. Uh, let's say in January, my VO2 max is way, way higher than it is now. Or after my, that I broke my back wind on altitude, preparing for Dauphiné. I started Dauphiné with a super high VO2 max, uh, but with an FTP only at, let's say, 68, 70% of my VO2 max. So I have a massive FTP, a higher FTP before Dauphine, uh, massive VO2 max, a higher VO2 max before Dauphine, way hi higher than in the last week of Tour de France. But when did I do my most impressive ride? Final week of the Tour de France, of course, with a high uh, FTP and a low VO2 max. Uh, but if I go on, go on, go on, and I only focus on increasing my FTP, my VO2 max will drop, drop, drop until the moment that it will affect my FTP. And this is the moment that you will collapse and you need time for training. And of course, uh, did Pojakar waste too much energy in Flanders? Maybe. But is he proud that he won Flanders? I bet he is. That was it. Live session done. I hope everybody liked it. This was not announced on socials or on YouTube beforehand because I was not talking a lot. Um, I was not talking a lot because it was an important session with some lucky testing. Uh, hope you guys liked it. You can watch it all back if you did. Ciao, ciao.